Hi, I'm Marissa from Confessions of a Makeup Porter, and today I'm going to share with you my recent drugstore purchases. And I finally found Flower Beauty by Drew Barrymore. It's exclusive to Walmart, and I have two Walmarts in my ha town, and you think one of them could have it, but no. Had to go to another town to find it, and I'm glad I did, because it's really cute. This is an eyeshadow quad, and this is in the color Face the Gray. But you have a matte purple, a matte gray, and two really shimmery colors. This is more like a taupey color, taupey, taupey lavender color, and then this is like a light lavender. It's what I have on today. You probably can't tell because I have my glasses on. Um, they're really nice and pigmented. Um, they are pretty powdery though, so you might want to wait and do your foundation after because I did have a lot of problems with fallout and I had to wipe it away. And then what I really wanted was to look at these cream shadows and they had an amazing color selection. I picked up this one which is kind of like a, a purpley charcoal gray and the packaging is really weighty on this and it has like the rose gold it's really cute and this is more of a moussey one and it has a little stopper it's definitely it's not like a cream it's more like a mousse kind of spongy there's the color oh I should probably tell you the color that might be helpful orking around like orchid the flower ing around that's what it's called and then lastly I picked up this lipstick and I'll put the color name below but oh I just love this packaging some were black I think those were more like the um, this is a satin and I think the ones that are in black are more of a shine it's what I have on my lips now. It's nice. It's like almost matte, but not too matte. That might not make sense, but that's how I... It's like a matte, but not, um... Like a little, little bit of shine. It's just like the perfect everyday color, office appropriate. There it is. I think it's called Petal Pink. But I'm not sure. But like I said, I'll put it down below. So those were the things I picked up from Walmart. And then I was at Target and I was looking at the Revlon Lip Butters. Even though I basically own all of them. But they had new colors! And I was so excited. And I have Sorbet and Pink Lemonade. And there's... There's a red one that I think is called like watermelon and I think there's one other color but I'm not sure. And I've really been loving the um, pink lemonade one which is this. It's kind of like a peachy pink nude. It's a really nice nude color. Um, I have a hard time finding nudes that look good because I'm so pale and then I'm dark. So I automatically look dead with new lips, but I really like that one because it has enough pink in it to make it look like I'm not dead. And then the next one is Sorbet, and it's a nice pink. Not that I needed another hot pink lipstick because I've been hoarding hot pink lipsticks lately. But this one's a nice sheer one. It's not as intense as like lollipop or raspberry jam, raspberry pie, I get confused, whatever it's called. It's, it's nice and sheer. So I really love those. I would definitely go give the new ones a look because they're like the perfect summer spring colors. And also at Target, I heard, um, Michelle Bell on YouTube talk about this palette and I heard it was really hard to find but 
being the good makeup hoarder that I am, I've tracked it down. And it's the Sonia Keshek Ion Neutral palette, and it's the instructional eyeshadow palette. But they redid the packaging, so it has no instructions. So I'm like, why don't you just don't call it instructional palette, just call it Ion Neutral, since you don't have instructions. But apparently, they're not that smart or something. But, um, it's all matte. And it has like every matte you could ever, every matte neutral you could ever need. Lots of taupes, some grays, lots of light colors. And I'm not really a matte fan. Well, I wasn't a matte fan until I found this. And I've been really loving this, especially since I've been so obsessed with bright lips. This really goes well with it because it, you know, sometimes even if you do neutral shimmer, it can still be a lot because you have a lot of shimmer going on. And this is just really the perfect palette. It is a little more pricey. It's, I think, I believe it was $19.99. But um, do go on Target.com and look for coupons. Because I believe there was a $3.50 off on makeup coupon that was floating around. And that's what I used when I got this, so it ended up being cheaper. I think it's a great deal. And the pigmentation on this is really, really nice. And yeah, so really nice pigmentation on this one. And staying on the neutral track... I was in Fred Meyer, you know, going grocery shopping, but of course we had to go in the entrance where the makeup was, and they had all the displays in like the middle of the entrance, so I was like, oh, you got me Fred Meyer, you got me. And I found this new palette from Wet n Wild, and if none of these things have names on it once you take the stickers off. So I will put the name of this, something to do with nude, I'm sure, but it's just super pretty nudes. There's one matte brown in here. The only thing I'm not sure is this, how they line them up. Like, this says brow bone. If I were to put that on my brow bone, I'd look weird. So don't put that on your brow bone. I really love this nice neutrals and I was looking at these bottom four and I was thinking that looks mighty familiar and so I went I went and I found this which is the truth for bare minerals yep that's a dupe right there this is the wet and wild one was like $4.99 this is $30. You get four more colors in the Wet n Wild one. So if you've been interested in the truth, which has amazing neutrals in it, I'd pick up the Wet n Wild one. Save yourself like 25 bucks. Last but not least, mascara that's new from Avon. It's called Super Extend Infinitize Mascara. And it was on sale for like $5.99. I'm not sure what it was. But it was the wand. The wand is crazy. Like, look at that. It's like a weapon. And it has the little um, ball at the end. Like the Benefit their real mascaras. And obviously $5.99 is a lot cheaper than the Benefit one. Which I think is like 20 bucks. So I thought I'd give it give it a go six dollars but it does a really good job it has fibers in it so it does lengthen it's really really black it's the regular black color from Avon I really like it and that was everything I picked up um, hope you enjoyed and like I said the things I didn't know the colors on I will link below and I will talk to you soon. Bye.